signs God is telling you to not give someone a chance. Did you know that refusing someone a chance for dating can actually be seen as a sign from God? This is because it's one of the few times in our lives when we're given the opportunity to make a big decision. If you're hesitating to give someone another chance, there might be a good reason behind it. Some possible signs that God is telling you not to give someone a chance for dating include the following. Number one, you're not sure if this person is compatible with you. It can be really tough to say no to someone you really want to date. But sometimes, it's important to think about what's best for you. If someone is being reckless or abusive, it might not be the right time or place to invest your energy in them. God may be trying to tell you not to give someone a chance so that they can't hurt you in the future. Pay attention to what he is telling you and don't let yourself get hurt. Number 2. You're not sure if you can trust this person. If you find yourself doubting whether or not you can trust this person, it might be a sign that it's not the right time to give them a chance. If someone is taking advantage of your kindness or your trust, it's probably not worth it to put yourself through that again. God may be trying to tell you that this person isn't worth your time or effort. Stick to people who make you feel comfortable and safe. Number 3. You're not sure if you can see yourself with this person. If you're not 100% sure that you could see yourself with this person, it might be a sign that it's not the right time to give them a chance. It's important to be honest with yourself and figure out what you really want. If someone is pressuring you into things or trying to control your life, it might not be the best idea to get involved with them. God may be trying to tell you that this person isn't right for you. Stick to people who let you make your own decisions. Number 4. You don't feel comfortable around this person. If you find yourself feeling uncomfortable around this person, it might be a sign that it's not the right time to give them a chance. If someone is making you feel like crap, it's probably not worth your time or energy. You should only date people who make you feel good about yourself. If someone is doing that, they're definitely worth considering for a relationship. But if someone is making you feel uncomfortable or like you can't trust them, it might not be the right time to get involved. Stick to people who make you feel comfortable and accepted. Number 5. You're worried about what this person would be like as a partner. There are a lot of things that you don't know about this person. You don't know if they're clean or not, or if they've ever had an addiction. You don't even know their intentions. You may think that it's too much work to get to know someone like this, but God is telling you not to give this person a chance. You don't think this person is going to be a good fit for you. The person doesn't seem to have any good qualities. They're not interested in you in the same way that you are interested in them. They make you feel uncomfortable or threatened. There are other reasons why you don't think this person would be a good fit for you and these are all signs God is telling you not to give them a chance. If any of these reasons apply to you, it's time to take a step back and reconsider whether or not this person would be a good match for you. If you still think they would make a good match for you, then go ahead and give them a chance. But keep in mind that there are always other possibilities out there, so don't get too attached if things don't work out. Number 6. If they have a lot of bad history with other people, it could be a sign that God doesn't want you to give them a chance. If they've done things that make you uncomfortable or that you don't agree with, this is a sign that this person is not going to be a good fit for you. It's also possible that this person isn't compatible with you spiritually. Maybe they don't have the same beliefs or values as you. If you're not sure whether or not this person is a good fit for you, it's probably best to stay away from them. You don't want to risk getting hurt if things don't work out. You might also be concerned about the person's mental health or their ability to handle conflict. If you still feel like it's not worth giving this person a chance, be sure to be careful. Maybe you've had negative experiences with this person in the past. It's possible that this person is not going to be a good fit for you because you've had negative experiences with them in the past. This could include things like arguing or getting along poorly. If this person has a lot of baggage, it's likely that they're not going to be able to handle your relationship well. This includes things like having a history of mental or emotional problems. It could also include criminal behavior or addiction. You don't want to get yourself into trouble. It's also possible that you don't feel comfortable around this person because they make you feel tense or anxious. Or maybe you just don't feel like they have good social skills. You're not sure if you can trust this person. There's something about this person that makes you uneasy. Maybe it's the way they always seem to be looking at you in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable. Maybe it's the way they're always talking about how great they are and how amazing their life is. Maybe it's just a feeling that you can't quite put your finger on. Whatever the reason, you've decided that you don't want to give this person a chance. You don't want anything to do with them and you definitely don't want them in your life. But even as you make these decisions, you know that there's something about this person that is tugging at your heartstrings. You can't help but feel like maybe you should give them a chance after all. Don't let these feelings get the better of you though. It's important to remember why you decided not to date this person in the first place, and sticking to that decision is the best way to protect yourself. 
If you find yourself feeling scared or like you can't cope if this person becomes your partner, it is a sign that God does not want you to give them a chance. It's possible that they represent somebody or something in your life that has hurt you in the past and you fear being hurt again. If this is the case, it would be best to stay away from them. You don't need to be with somebody who makes you feel this way. If you are still considering giving this person a chance, it is important to remember that it is not your responsibility to fix them or make them better. You should also remember that this person may not be compatible with you for other reasons as well. If you can, it is important to talk to someone about how you're feeling so you can make an informed decision. If you feel like this person would only bring you pain, it is a sign that God does not want you to give them a chance. When it comes to relationships, we all want what is best for ourselves. However, sometimes our desires can get in the way of what is actually best for us. When this happens, it's important to listen to what God is telling us. When you feel like this person would only bring you pain, it is a sign from God that you should not give them a chance. This person likely has a history of hurting other people and will do the same to you. If you're interested in them, it's best to steer clear. It's important to remember that no one is perfect, and people can change over time. However, when it comes to someone you're interested in, it's always best to be honest with yourself and listen to what God is telling you. If you feel like you wouldn't be able to stand up to this person, it is a sign that God does not want you to give them a chance. If you have doubts about your ability to be civil, it is a sign that this person does not deserve a chance. It's important to remember that we should never give someone a chance if we do not feel comfortable around them. When you feel like you can't possibly be around someone because you know how they will treat you, it is a sign that these people are not meant to be in your life. It's important to remember that no one is perfect and that everyone makes mistakes. However, if this person has done something that really bothers you and you don't think they will ever change, it might be best to stay away. If you feel like you would be giving up too much if you got involved with them, it is a sign that God does not want you to give them a chance. Think about it this way, if the person is not worthy of your time, they will not be worthy of your love. If you are with someone who does not appreciate you, they will never make you feel loved in return. If you do not think they would be a good match for you and are still considering getting involved with them, it is probably because you are judging yourself rather than allowing God to judge them. You deserve someone who will cherish and care for you, so do not fall for what will destroy you. These are just a few examples, and there are many others that could apply to your situation. If you're unsure about whether or not to give someone another chance, it might be best to consult with a trusted friend or family member. They can help you make the decision based on what's best for you. If you decide not to give someone a chance for dating, it's important to remember that this doesn't mean you're bad or unkind. It just means that you're not ready or compatible for a relationship right now. If the person you're rejecting is understanding and respectful, that's great. However, if they become excessively negative or aggressive, it might be best to cut ties altogether. Remember, it's always okay to be honest with yourself and God about what you're looking for in a partner. And if you don't think someone is a good fit, don't hesitate to say no. You never know, you might just find someone else who's a better match for you. There's no one-size-fits-all answer when it comes to whether or not you should give someone a chance for dating. What works for one person might not be the best decision for another. If you're having trouble answering any of these questions, it might be a good idea to talk to someone else about it. Sometimes, it can be difficult to know if we're making the right decision when it comes to dating. Talk to your friends, family, or a trusted priest or pastor for guidance. They might be able to help you make a more informed decision. May God help you in Jesus' name. Amen.